What's open to us? Erica and Story? I think so. That's where I'm going right now. Hey, Muff. How's it going? Happy Monday. Ooh, supports. Thank you for reminding me about that. We'll do a quick look at um, at what we can do. Uh, and then we'll go and do some sports. Thank you for the constant reminder. I truly need those. Um, so we've got... Gervport. So we've got Chapter 19. And... I think it's just Erica. Erica. Yep. So we've got one paralog and one plot to do. Gervais port? I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's go back to Somniel and clean up some supports. Or any of the gods was Lucina? Was I on a different one? Lucina? I don't know. Erica's was uh, the Dark Tomb or something like that. Dark Shrine. Some, something similar. I gotta say, I'm having fun listening to you struggle with all these silly French words. <laughs> you were hovering over Lucina. Oh, sorry. My brain was working faster than the rest of me. I think. Oh my gosh, the French. So I, my my kids really love Bluey, and there's uh, I got them like a book, and in one of the books, one of the stories, they meet like a little French French kid, um, and so you know some of the book is in French because like the little French boy dog is speaking French and I'm just like oh this is bad this is real bad <laughs> this is this isn't gonna go well for me <laughs> so part of me wants to play it like I could play it straight and be like we're gonna learn how to speak French and then the other part of me is like nah nah bonjour and just go American on it c'est bien <laughs> She's someone French. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm not ready for this. <gasps> A seven stream streak. Thank you, Muff. I appreciate you being here all the time. Thank goodness I played Valkyria Chronicles Four, so we could so we could join each other in, in brilliant Frenchmanship. Speaking of French stuff, congratulations on not not coming in last place on Eurovision. I thought, uh, Slimane, Slimane, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name either because it's French, uh, but I thought he did a good job. I thought it was a very uh, cool performance. Very simple. I usually don't like the slow ballads, but his was pretty good. Just the dragon I was hoping to see. Oh, what kind of favor? I'm hosting a party soon, and I'd like for you to be there at our church. You're the center of our everything, our deity. Mm-hmm. Make sure to bring your furry tail. A lot of our congregants are really into that. I think your attendance would really raise everyone's spirits. Hmm. Tell me more about this party. What is it going to be like? Oh, nothing formal. Just an occasion to sing, dance, Real and have a good time. Churches are... You can blow off I guess churches do informal things. Barbecues and stuff. Stories. That sounds fun. But what does my listening to people have to do with anything? Don't you see? It would be incredibly encouraging so to encouraging. everyone. The first time I saw you with my own eyes was like, like seeing the light. I can't believe this guy worships me. It's kind of, it's like a little, a little weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little intense there, didn't I? Anyway, it's short notice, so there's no need to let me know right away. Here's the useful French tip of the day. Usually last letters and words are silent, especially so for E. Fucking guy. Hey, fucking guy. Nice. <laughs> I hope you guys could actually hear that this time. I, I made some changes. Uh, yeah, I, I, I assume all the last letters, like the last, at least the last one letter is always silent. Um, I did not know it was for E. So, it's Slimon because it was like S L I M A N E. So Slimon. What was the name of the the gentleman's name? But I'll tell you, I don't throw so so parties. If I'm hosting it, you know it'll be a blowout. I'm glad. Yeah, Jerome. Thank you for uh, Slimon. Sleeman. 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 <laughs> oh, 
Okay. I'll thank you, Divine One. Either way, I liked his performance. <laughs> sleep on. It's sleep on. Thank you, baby. This meat is so yummy. I'm getting. I am. I'm getting uh, confirmation from our local uh, French authority. Wow, that seems like a lot of meat for the two of us. Hmm. Oh, maybe we need somebody to to share. Oh no, this one's for me. I was going to do yours next. What? How do you eat that much? Oh, you know. Open my mouth, bite, chew. I won't bore you with all the details. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I hope you're doing well, baby. Happy, uh... Almost done with your work shift. Wow. You're really something, Tamara. You really so you really can eat, and that's... That, that's worthy of, uh... Compliment? I don't know how I feel I'm about Tamara. Of and I'm wearing lots of priceless jewels. I'm not saying that Pandreo wants to get in your pants, but he wants in the mm, boy does he. And you know what? I'm willing to let him in. He's earned it. A guy like that worships me for a little bit, throws me a nice party, you know. And he's and he's hot? I'm not against the idea. Definitely not against the idea. And thank you for the subscription, Neva. I really appreciate it. You've been subscribed for two months. That's awesome. Thank you for wasting your money. It's going all right. I've got to, I've got the work right where I wanted. I had to double up on meds and I feel great. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry you need meds, but I'm happy that they're working. Tamara may be my least favorite character by far. She's just annoying and talks about meat and singing badly and I guess fighting. Yeah, I don't, she's, she's cute. Uh, I like parts of her design. The The bobbles are a little much. Um, the bubbles and bobbles, little, a little excessive. Um, and other than that, like, she's pretty cute, like, aesthetically. But, yeah, her... Her personality is not for me. Please keep your cute does not down. make it very true. I'm cute I as hell, but... What do I got going for me? So far, she's irritating me. I knew you, I knew you would feel that way, baby. You can say that again. It's absolutely crawling with bandits. That's why I'm out here like a I've got drawing. tempting hunk of land. That's true. Today. I am getting better. Wait and what I what I what I lack in drawing talent, I make up for in uh drawing those things in a really weird way. <laughs> and 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 Taking a taking a prompt and going in a funny direction. It I think I've got that going it? for me. Look, I'm gonna try. Have had their eye on us since we got here. I'm gonna try giving paying myself some compliments. I think is I think is the new challenge of the day. I'm gonna call it a challenge. <laughs> Tamara saying meat while getting bonked with a big squeaky hammer. <laughs> it looks like it looks like they're getting ready for an ambush. Not if we pounce on them first. Come on. This ought to be a piece of cake for you and me. Is her voice direction also a little weird? It's like she's... She's both bored and excited at the same time. I don't know if that... if, And I'm not trying to critique the actress. Or the, the VA. Like, that's not what I'm here to do. Uh, but, like... It's weird, right? It, it feels like something else. It's like... Da, 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 da. It's like it's... It's loud, but flat? Like, her her tone maybe stays the same while parts of it go up and down. I don't know. It, it's, it's a strange delivery, and I, I can't pin down exactly why it is, because I'm not a professional. Can anyone else not hear me? Sounds like a you problem, Griff. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm I'm my mic's pretty loud. Burb. Okay. 
Thank you, Griff. Okay, so that that support ended with us getting ambushed by bandits, and now we're done. That's a little weird. Um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the supports because I know I'm gonna forget the supports, and then we'll do the uh, uh, and then we'll do the drawing request. I cannot tell you how sorry I am for taking you to those ruins. You can hear the game just fine, but not me. Huh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Griff. Okay. Yeah, how how is that possible? <laughs> uh, as much as I don't like Alir's personality a ton, his voice direction is pretty spot on. Like the delivery fits the character. I I can agree with that. He's not a tremendously interesting character, um, which I think is really unfortunately really common in. RPGs like we don't always get a character with a lot of personality because there's supposed to be the blank slate um, but it usually instead of being like a character that you can put yourself into the place of it always comes more off like a bland character that's missing something nine times out of ten I would always prefer a main character that has a pre-established personality and backstory and character more so than one that I have to insert myself into like that's why i don't really like skyrim games or bethesda games all that much because i have to make my own story and like it's putting the burden of storytelling and stuff on me like in skyrim like okay why does why exactly does my character give a shit about the civil war happening are the dragons and, and stuff like that it's because i'm the dragonborn why do i care why don't i just go do something else um so like when i played skyrim the first time I didn't do any of that stuff because it bored the hell out of me. So I just like, I made up my own little role play, but I had to do that work. I put myself like through the Thieves Guild. And then at the end, when you get like the little lock pit from the Daedric person, I was like, oh, okay. Now my character is like obsessed with the Daedric artifacts and he's going to go collect all of them. And that's his goal. That's his motivation. And that was where my character story ended. I didn't care about anything after that. That was my little role play. And I just, like, I don't know. I'd rather have a story told to me. That's why I'm here. Uh, now the, the game was delayed and seems like it was supposed to come out for the anniversary of Fire Emblem. That makes a lot of thematic sense, considering how much old games play into this. Now is the time to talk about Griff behind his back. <gasps> You're right. Unless he watches the VOD, he'll never know. Griff's so talented. Griff's so stupid and talented. It's so stupid that he hasn't, uh, that he's made such a cool game that we don't get to play yet. Is he dumb? Why isn't that game done yet? I'd actually argue Alir has more personality than some recent characters like Korn and Byleth. It's just that his personality is hesitant coward, more or less. It means he doesn't come out strongly in most scenes, but he does have a pretty defined personality. Yeah, I think that's, it's an, it's a personality, but because of the person. Because of the nature of the personality, it tends to get overshadowed, so it's hard to spot it. Um, and it can, it like, by its nature, it can come off pretty bland. Which is not a, like... I wish we had more backstory. And, and you know, maybe I'm just not remembering it because I always talk over cutscenes and stuff. Um... I wish we had more backstory about why he was so hesitant and like I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say cowardly because that's you know that's a negative connotation when it could be just cautious or something like that. Um I wish we had like why is he cautious is it was he always like that? He's been asleep for a thousand years. Presumably he was awake before that. What was he like before that time? Um, it'd be one thing if he was, like, I'd be interested to see if he was very outgoing, um, or more so outgoing, and then he had a lot of time with Lumera, or we spent more time with Lumera, and then Lumera dies because of something he did. 
and then that causes him to become more hesitant. And then the arc is like a very standard, uh, like learning to trust in oneself and abilities and, you know, bonds and friendships and stuff like that. Some of his hesitation comes from not remembering anything about the world and being thrust in the middle of a war. That's true. Yeah. I'll wait to see what you think as you get further in the game because you will get... Okay, perfect. Like, as long as it's there. That's a good point. I always forget that he's kind of just plopped back into this world without much uh, m memory of it. I wish... I don't want to say I want it to be more obvious. I wish they maybe talked about it more. Like, if he would say more stuff like, okay, I don't really understand this. Uh, I'm, I'm hesitant about doing this particular thing. Uh, and then he's got like all these advisors come and say, okay, that's right. You haven't been here for a while. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a strange, um, like way to wake up. It's a strange, it's just a strange way to come back into the world. Uh, I'm going to use a very weird example, um, which I think that I know it's, I know it's a bit of a heresy, um, to mention that there were other Shining Force games. Uh, but in Shining Force Refrain, I think they totally dropped the ball because they have a character who can, like, transform into a super powerful dragon. And they plant the seeds of him being, like, scared of his power and hesitant to use it because he could go out of control and, like, hurt the people that he cares about or something like that, or he could be taken over by some evil force because... I don't remember the game that much. It wasn't that much worth remembering. Um, but I remember they didn't do a lot with it, and I was interested at first. It's like, okay, what are we going to do with a character who doesn't trust their own abilities? And they're very, very powerful, um, and they need to use their abilities to save the world. But they're hesitant to do it because of how they could be manipulated. Um but I don't. I just don't remember them doing a lot with his character like that. And more often than not, he just kind of came off as mopey, and it never like felt, never felt deeper than that. Games do that all the time with people with alternate transformation. I'd love for more games to have teeth and actually give mechanical implications to characters afraid of their own transformations. Yeah, like in Kingdom Hearts too, where if you keep using your modes, like there's a chance you go into the heartless mode or whatever and i don't rem it's been so long so i don't remember if like they touch on that in the story but it would be really cool because you see it happen in game and you get to control it a little bit so it doesn't have the same oomph as like your character going out of your control um, but it is a fun idea where you do have this risk reward of tapping into the powers that are inherent with your character and that like you eventually do kind of need to succeed um but finding ways to like balance it out and and reduce the risk increase the reward although anti-form is super frustrating for boss fights because it has like a five times chance to... really man that's so that's so wild I forget that that, that game came out like when I was in high school or whatever, and now it's got the upgraded version, so people, like, know all that stuff about the game. And all I remember about it is, like, my first playthrough. So, when people are like, oh, yeah, here's all this, like, really in-depth stuff that kind of, like, messes with you. I was like, oh, I just remember it happening. <laughs> I remember I was in the Tron place, and then I, I turned into a, a, a little gremlin imp boy. And it was kind of wild. Screwed you over a lot. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't remember anything other than that. It was kind of wild and weird and cool the first time, and then like it does kind of give you that back off. Like, ooh, do, is is now a safe time to to do my my specials, my my transformations. Please don't worry about it. I didn't even think to ask if you were afraid of ghosts. How horribly careless! Horribly careless! I can't believe you would do that. Banana. Please allow me to atone for my error. Whatever you need done, I will do. You don't need to atone for anything. I'm fine. I seldom need to go anywhere alone, so I've scarcely felt my new crippling fear of solitude. What? 
The howling wind keeps me awake at night, but I've learned to scream myself into exhaustion. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's like a baby. She's like when you have a toddler or like a, a young baby and they're overtired and they just they just scream and you're like you're so tired nothing you're going to scream if I pick you up you're going to scream if I put you down I need a break you're going to you're going to cry yourself to sleep or something like that you have to do that sometimes and it sucks uh so Ivy tapping into that 1 year old energy <laughs> uh, the main issue is, is you're entirely locked out of heal. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. I, I was trying to remember the downside. I, I couldn't remember if you were just really weak or if you were locked out of certain abilities. It was the healing. Okay. Your wife who has the coping me mechanisms of a baby. I have no response. I have no response. She was sheltered. She's rich. Uh, she's she's a royal, so you know God knows what she's up to. Uh, got a dip and get back while you're still alive. Thank you. Uh, good luck, Tiadra, and I hope everything uh, goes well and you get some get some answers. Uh, I moved my headphone cable input by rot by rot rotating it about eighty degrees last night while setting up a bookshelf for my PC, and that caused voice on the audio to be divided, not just on Twitch but on everything. Whoa. Audio is weird. I'm always so scared to mess with my audio settings, but it's even it's even more perilous than I once thought. But you're back and sound is fixed. Hello, good day to you, sir. And Lovely to see you today, you Griff. I hope all is going well. Motionless for hours on end. I don't mind. It's so weird that she's just a little scaredy cat. I have accepted that the lifetime of fear I went through in a single day has scarred me forever. Oh, you poor woman. I am so very sorry. Is this all from her... Is this like trauma from losing her father? Or is this pre-patricide? Pre, pre <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I had to tease you a little. I'm fine, Panette, really. I understand that you brought me to that place because you thought it would make me happy. Please don't worry about it ever again. Don't worry about it. I put you through a terrible ordeal. But it was funny. Your intention was purely for me to enjoy it, was it not? Well, yes, but... Your intentions were good. That is what matters to me. Thank you. Now kiss? Now oh. kiss, maybe? All right. If you are certain, do you think, despite this horrible blunder... Horrible blunder. ...we might still be friends? Of course. So long as you tell me where we're going ahead of time from now on. And no give more give consent please. before going to haunted houses. <laughs> of course. From now on, we stay in the land of the living. You know, I live in Florida, so we got a lot of those, um, like Halloween Horror Nights things. I can't do them. I don't, I can't do them. They've got them at Universal, like even SeaWorld has them. I, like, I like horror movies and stuff like that. Uh, certain types of them a lot. Uh, but I've never had the desire to go to one of those Halloween horror things. It's too, it's too claustrophobic. It's too loud. Um, and people just get too close to you. It is too, it's too crowded. It's not for me. That's not like a fun way for me to scare, spend my time. I like weird, disturbing, scary things. Um, but not when it's, not when I'm locked in with it. Even if, even though I know it can't, like, they're not allowed to touch me, like, legally. It still just creeps me out. What do you That's think the scary thing. Society? Social society anxiety is the real terror. Prompt any feelings? No. no. How strange. I, for my part, find great comfort in their mundane joys and idle chatter. <laughs> but then again, I'm a freak. It would seem that phenomenon is unique to you. Oh? What a pity. Was that the full extent of your plan? I'm just gonna go with people watching. <laughs> Dolphin <laughs> smashes through. <door. laughs> Did you actually pin all your hopes on this side, inspiring me to chat? No. Chatting is I overrated. Given up. Except for you chatters, I need you guys to chat. Oh yes, Sea World. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I always forget exactly what I said thirty seconds ago. It's impossible for me to remember. Though I don't as yet have any other ideas. 
Until I do, would you like a cup of tea? I'll put on a pot of the black tea blend I've been saving. Tea does sound lovely, actually. Thank you. I haven't been to SeaWorld in a very long time. I'm glad that they're not, like... I'm glad that the, a long time ago they stopped getting wild animals and that all their animals now are, like, uh... born in-house. <laughs> I'm a murder you. <laughs> I will allow that because it's a cute little dolphin. It's a pride dolphin. Look, I'm going to get killed by a gay dolphin. That sounds like a pretty cool way to go. Uh -huh. but what is it? Dolphins are pretty gay. I thought I detected the faintest hint of a smile just now. Little blowhole job. Can I take it then that you like black tea? Yes. But if I happen to seem pleased, that was not the reason. I simply find your dedication to these efforts rather amusing. It's not like I like you or anything. There's nothing so amusing about it. A princess's joy is a radiant thing. <laughs> Ivy must uh, be like a black light was then. That another ah. Oops. Oh, enough. Oh. You promised me tea. <laughs> Let's have it. <laughs> As you wish, Princess Ivy. Good job, you guys. You're getting along well. I don't. What were Panette and Tamara Boss, talking about? When you said I had oh, that's right. There's like you were right. retainer I had. relationship. But for that, I have you to blame. It's your fault. Me? Everything's your fault, Tamara. Yes. When we met, I was wild as they come. My home life was rocky, to say the least, and that left me filled with anger. Mm-hmm. Totally get so it. So each day I would go into town and pick fights with yeah. anyone who get got on my nerves. Kill them. Back on that time now, I see how pointless it was. Yet that was the only way I knew. I don't kill anybody anymore. Until I met you. She says with a 100% crit rate. Though at first, of course, I assumed you were as wild as I was. <laughs> We hit it off right away, huh? Taking out goons by day, riding our wolves by night. Yep. Gooning and howling all night long. Just going crazy. Yes, we were thick as thieves. Little by little, you helped point my rage in a more useful direction. <laughs> and then we cut you in line. That only happened once. I was talking about all the bandits and thieves we fought. You taught me to take all my pent-up, directionless anger and, and use point it at the patriarchy. Well, I'm glad. Though, to be honest, that wasn't really intentional. Yes, I figured as much. Yeah, I, I don't get the feeling that Tamara does a lot of things with intent. She doesn't seem like a big so, planner. if I had never met you, that rage might have swallowed me whole. Do I really? Oh, I know what I said. Resentful husband. <laughs> I could have wasted my life feeling bitter about the hand I was dealt. I know what I said. I was just testing you guys. See if we had any gooners in chat. Which is fine. We we, we welcome all hey, kinds here. Listen, I want to talk about something. What's up, Fogato? You look kind of down. Yeah, well, Fog I think I owe you an God apology. down. You're the one who stole my rib tips. I was saving those for a late night snack. That it, yeah. That that is, if someone steals your food, you do actually have a reason to, uh, to assault them in some cases. I remember I was in high school once, or probably just out of high school, and I bought some fried chicken, and I like, I saved some of it for the next day. I wanted to have a, a terrible like feast. I wanted to have, I had like some leftover pizza from a couple days before, and then I bought this fried chicken, and I was like, I'm going to go crazy. It was like my day off after after work. I'm going to have fried chicken and pizza. I'm going to put fried chicken on a pizza. Who's going to stop me? God? I don't think so. And then I got up uh, pretty late, because I think it was like a late night shift or something, and uh, like my parents gave my fried chicken to my sister, furious. Furious. I was so upset. Who were they? Who were they to give away my food? At least my, my sister apologized. But I was I was livid.
Speaking of dolphins, Echo the Dolphin's plot was inspired uh, in John, John C. Lilly, who did drugs and experimented with dolphins. I think there was a woman, too. I don't know anything about that. I know Echo the Dolphin is freaking wild. Uh, I did not I did not know the deeper implications. I have a sister. Yes, I do. She's five years younger than me. I won't say too much more than that because I don't know how much privacy uh, she wants. Uh, I don't know. She's probably more. She's probably got more of a social media presence than I do. Despite me streaming, I'm pretty sure she probably has more presence than I do. Uh, but yeah, I have I have a younger sister. Teach lore. You never know. You never know when I'm gonna drop more teach lore on you. What? No, I will never do that. I know how much you love your midnight meats. We got it. Uh, we had we had a pretty rocky relationship growing up. Uh, but we've we've grown a lot closer after I moved out and after she moved out. Mostly after I moved out, because I did not get along with my parents at all. And then we kind of got to see each other not as like competitive siblings, but as uh, I don't know, people. Which was kind of cool. Uh, so now we get along pretty well. Popping in to make my mandatory appearance in between patients. Hell yeah. It's good to see you, CMAD. Uh, CMAD, check out. Uh, we've got some, some things changed here. One. New emote. Face palm. It's here. Second. Um, we've got... Uh, we've got this should work now pretty cool pretty freaking cool so yeah the the teach stream is uh, is growing <laughs> I finally figured out how to do it we were also gooning and howling for for a while what's this I knew with business you don't trust your own brother we're big gooners over here <laughs> I get cranky when I wake up on an empty stomach. Tamara, it's 2 p.m. Anyway, what was that about an apology? I was thinking about what you said, how I wasn't around much in the castle. What are you, my dad? I've always felt that because our people are free spirits, they deserve a free-spirited prince. But now, I realize that it got in the way of our civvy time. I hate that. I'll try to do better. Please, please stop. Never say civvy time again. I... It pained me internally. I know that I'm bleeding spiritually. Doesn't tell the whole story. You leave the castle to get a lay of the land, make it easier to plan for a crisis, right? That's what. That's what so they that say. So if the worst happens, you'll be ready to advise me. <laughs> of course, you know. Well, yeah, we are sibies. I said we? stop. I know. That's going on in that cute little head of yours. I don't, I do appreciate I'm sorry, Tamara. I don't like me. you. As far as little brothers go, I'd say I lucked out. We're a family. We watch out for each other. If I'm honest, though, sometimes I don't want you to watch out for me. I just want you to hang out with me. You know? Oh, like well, right that's now. sad. This is perfect. Um, all right, we're not using any of those. We're not using any of those. Okay, so we've got some Sadal. I think we got like two more bits to do here. That's amazing. Wolf jousting sounds like a thrilling sport to witness. Mm-hmm. That it is. But the fights out in the crowd, <laughs> that's where you'll find the real action. Hell yeah. Plenty of ways to amuse oneself in Psalm, but nothing is quite like the Wolf Arena. Yeah, can we uh can we see that please? What a fascinating life you've led. I'd like to see the wolf the wolf arena please. Wolf gladiators. I feel as if I've witnessed it all with my own eyes. The caravan lifestyle sounds like so much fun. Coming and going as you please. How Chris's skin is not built for song. Curiosities all over the world. The kid is as white as the marble in the in the Somniel. You are not built for a caravan lifestyle, my dude. No restrictions, no cares. And if you ever grow bored, you can just set off on another journey. <sighs> I wish I could have that life. Yes, well... There's one story you haven't told yet. When did you first join the caravan? I bet you were born into it. 
Am I close? No, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna guess a tragedy. I'm gonna guess dead parents. No. I was born in a town by the sea. It was beautiful. Dead parents. I was so young when my father there we go. No memories of him. I know no it when a, I know it when a parent's about to die. They freaking love that shit. She was a fortune teller, but an ill fated one. She got sick and died when I was young. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I wonder if she saw it coming. One thing led to another. Before long, I was living on the streets. Back to our seeing you sort of soon. Can't wait. Yay! I love you, baby. Good luck. On the streets? But why? Be safe. Don't work too hard. Those people aren't worth it. I was a child without a family. Where else would I live? Oh. But one day, a caravan was passing by. The travelers called to me, invited me to join them, and I did. I traveled with them from that Were you just on. dancing on the street, and then they they came Speaking and said for me they wanted you? Words were hard. So my teacher taught me to dance. You didn't even know how to dance. So a caravan just came in and saw a mute child and took you? I learned that I didn't need words to communicate. That saved me. I see. Uh, my apologies. That story is not so amusing as the others. Yeah, it's pretty Please, depressing. I'm the one who should apologize. I didn't think before broaching the subject. No, I've darkened the mood. I'm sorry. I think this is a good place to stop for now. Yeah, we all, ne we all need something lighter to happen. Alright, a little bit of amber. Love it. Amber's Amber's bound to bring what? the energy up. Really? Here? We've got Am the goofy ass music playing. Right? Same thing. This is, this is a good sign. See it all. What's going on? Is everything okay? Just doing a bit of fortune telling. The cards say that a man <gasps> foretold by legend will soon appear. I wonder who that could be. Whoa! A man foretold by legend? Where? When? What else did the cards say? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nevik. <laughs> well, this legendary man is young, gregarious, energetic, and rather handsome. Oh. Who could it be? Whoa, that profile sounds an awful lot like me. If only my name was Greg. Man, so close. Oh, yeah. Inches away from being a legend. Uh, but he's also a fool. That can't be me then. <laughs> Poor Greg. Stupid Greg. Hmm. This fabled fellow also has a powerful connection to a certain animal. Wow, his fortune telling is awfully specific. Alpaca? Alpacas? No way! That has I to am be. legendary Greg. I am the legendary Greg. You're the figure my cards are heralding? I guess so. But what does that mean? Am I supposed to do something? Well, according you just got to be yourself. Sometime in the near future, you are going to be a savior. Whoa! A savior? Me? That's the best. How near is the near future going to be? Uh, that remains a bit foggy. Yeah. But never fear. I'll give you a shout. Future's a real bitch. Got it. I'll a mysterious my mistress. Up and my eyes pointed in both directions, just like an alpaca. Classic. Sadal looks like a Naruto character. He he's too attractive to be a Naruto character. Then again, I didn't watch a bunch of Naruto, so maybe all the hotties come later. Sadal is quite attractive. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go get some bond crystals. From our little pet. From Vendo. Um, yeah, let's feed him. Oh, he looks like he's a, he's about to reach a new state of love. I wonder what's going to happen. We'll keep feeding him and petting him. Hop, hop, hop. Ooh, are we going to see a level up? I don't know what this means, but it's pretty cool. I hope he gives us more... I hope he poops out more stuff. I think that's what I want. 
Oh, oh so close. Thank you. There's a weird amount of lag on that where it kind of just like sits there for a minute and you've hit the button like multiple times. I don't know if it's waiting for like an animation to end or something, but it kind of just sits on the screen a little longer than you expect it to. Um, let's go check the well. I remember that's supposed to be a thing I do. Let's go check the well. Do, 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 do. What do you got for me? Give me some good... An Iron Great Axe, a Novice Book, and an Adept Book. Okay. I think those are the things that give us more uh, SP. So that's good. That's very good. Um, let's turn in a couple more things. Is there a cat somewhere? Both my cats are sleeping. Oh. <laughs> Get rid of all these steel things that we're not using. There we go. That's a good four star. That should give us something. So we got some SP. Um, let's go grab uh, a couple of bits of XP from the arena and see if we can give um, Vantage to Panette. I think those are the big things we want to do. Let me see if I can show you. I've got, I've got some cats lying on a bed over there. There's one cat right there, that, that gray blob. And then there's the there's the butt of another tan cat over there. So there are there are cats present. They're pretty good cats. No, no major complaints about about the state of the cats. All right, who's low? Tamara's pretty low. Boosh. Ooh, let's get Alchrist up to ten at least. At least. It's me, the Brodian prince who isn't Piemont. I am Marin. Oh, you're such a mood. Prepare yourself. Luna. You trounced me thoroughly. I'm impressed. I'm sorry. Thoroughly trounced. Are you hurt? If I describe the trouncing, I would describe it as pretty thorough. Anybody else? Anybody else? Amber. Anybody close to leveling? Let's give one to Jean, I guess. He's pretty close. He's so I'm close. Uh, Jean. Should I really be here? Couldn't Hi tell you. you Anna. Call me Lady Anna. I forgot you were in this game. My loss. Your game. I think I've grown up that's a that's a marketplace joke. Good job, Jean. Get him that level. Since Let's he's close. Not to hurt each other, okay? That's not in the spirit of an so arena. Calm. Retainer to Princess Ivy. Don't you dare. I'm using Zelkov in my other playthrough as a swordsman. I think I've grown up swordsmaster. Uh, and it's pretty anime. It's pretty good. It fits him well. He crits a bunch, and it's pretty nice. I wonder what they have to say to each other. Uh, all right, so let's check Panette real quick. Oh, we did. Okay, we got her. Van That's right. We did get her vantage at the very end. Okay. Um, did anybody else need anything? I've got vantage and canter. What do we need Ivy for? We could get Ivy momentum, maybe. That could be kind of nice. 
Um, Louis good. Uh, Pondreo's good. Fogato's all right. Tamara's okay. The Boosh. What do you say, Boosh? Get him momentum. Headlong rush. Grants immunity to freeze. That's eh, it's not super useful. Uh, Cantor could be cool. Man, those things are friggin' 2,000 and 3,000. Man, how do you save up for something like that? I could give him dual assist. That could be useful. If unit is able to chain attack, unit will do so when allies attack foes. Units could reach by moving. Those are pretty... I think that's just always a safe bet when you have a backup unit. Sadal's good. Alchrist is good. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, let's try playing the game. I think we're going to go plot. I'm going to do one more plot map, and then we'll try Erica again. Erica's, uh, Erica's rough. I have, a, I, have a, I have just a smattering, just an inkling of PTSD. And I'd like to spend, like, the whole... Like, there's, there's a chance I'd have to make a whole stream out of it. Oh, I never really... Oh, that's a pretty good casual drip. That's pretty nice. You know who's casual I haven't seen yet? Rosado. Them sacred stones be powerful. Oh, there's Linden. Okay. That's a pretty good old man look. That looks, that looks better than his usual outfit. Why isn't that just his battle outfit? That looks great. That looks good. Okay, they're over there splish splashing in the pool. Where's Rosado? I want to see what, what he looks like. He's so freaking cute. There's Panette. She's adorable. We already knew that, though. We all knew that. Is there like a button? Oh, okay, this tells me. Jay, okay, I guess he, he's just not, he's not available right now. He must be busy. Tying new ribbons onto his wyvern or something. I'm glad he's keeping busy. Let's do some plot. I'm ready to plot. Give report. Give report. Give report. Advanced class level 7. I think we got that. I'm not too worried. We did the last mission pretty easily. The Dead Town, Chapter 19. I have returned. Oh, look at these losers. Hey, uh, Zephia. You guys gonna do anything? How'd the report to Lord Sombron go? Bet he was mad we lost the rings, huh? Yeah, you guys have kind of been doing a shit job. You're not really good. Like, I don't want to be too critical of you guys, but you're not... You don't do a good job. I'm sorry to say it. <laughs> Knew it. So he's gonna punish us, right? Oh. Finally. Yes. Oh, you belong in a Yoko Taro game. I understand now. You're in the wrong game. You belong in, like, Drakengard or Nier. Yeah, okay, this makes more in sense. In fact, no. It was a scolding, nothing more. He impressed upon me the gravity Scoldings can be hot. Old. That's all? <laughs> he must really love us. Nah, he's eaten a man. I don't you think he's really, like, capable of love. Has Lady Vale woken up yet? No. That spell you keep casting on her. This is getting <laughs> reckless. Yeah, getting his excuse ready. Uh, Lord Sombron turned into the fell dragon and, uh, and ate Ivy's dad. It was pretty great. Classic, classic villain behavior. They're always eating people. We should dispense I'm going to be surprised. Allow like, her to return to it's war. weird. Gris is the only one we've only fought once. We fought a lot of these guys multiple times and kicked their ass multiple times. They're not... 
Like, I don't know why he keeps trusting them. He's got to be planning, like, he knows they're disposable. So he's got to be plotting something. Ooh. She's going to look really stupid. Finally, I can erase the defect from existence. I intend to use it shortly. I would like to have some good news for my next meeting with Lord Sombron. Why do you like Lord Sombron? Are you just evil? Speaking of news, our warships ran into the Divine Dragon's forces. No luck. We failed them. again. Sounds like they're sailing to Illusia as we speak. Huh. Moving faster than I expected. Yeah. Only a matter of time before they're knocking at our door. Oh no, I hope they don't beat me up. Oh! Want me to buy some time? I can do it! I would love that if it finally meant the chance to end you. Of course, dear. So good of you to volunteer. This has to be but the time. The time is now. Alone. The time has come, and so have I. Mavia. If Chris had nipples, they would be pierced. They'd be pierced multiple times. They'd have some weird nipple piercing that we've never even heard of before. Very well. Hello, what up, Ellie? See, we're talking about Greece again. You, we can't stop. Why? I'd be fine on my own. And the new Rita Repulsa helmet. Some tassels. I could see him doing something like that. I could see Chris doing some kind of like interchangeable, like attachment nipple piercing where he gets to like customize it depending on his mood you are good of course but you'd achieve even greater success with mavia at your side. like he could do both of them and then have like a chain connecting his two nipple piercings nipple mood rings yeah so you always know exactly what he's feeling and he's always feeling Bloodthirsty and horny. That seems to be his his general vibe. <laughs> I can see Gris taking one of those super sharp Damascus knives and slicing slicing his skin to see if he can cut a see through sliver. A hundred percent. And he would definitely do it a couple of times because the first time he did it and he succeeded, he'd be like, "That was just a fluke, right?" That was just because I cut in this part of my skin. If I do it on a different part of my body, well, you know, maybe it won't do the same thing, okay. so I gotta try again. All the more praise for me then. Zephia, I ask one thing. Wait to cast your spell on Vale again until we return. He need to do a match and cut elsewhere, yeah. He's not gonna stop at just one. To to Gris, uh, self harm, mutilation, piercing, slicing, stuff like that, it's like a it's like a damn Lay's chip. He can't just have one. He has to have multiples. All right, Mavi. Can't just have one. So, uh, was Sombron summoned or just walking around? He is in his castle. Uh, I assume just sitting there. He doesn't seem... He's not a very active force. He kind of just has the, these hounds do the work for him. And then they fail. And they say, saw we, Lord Thombwan... And then he's like, oh, you guys have failed me again. All right, well, here's another chance. Uh, he's done very little except for when he was summoned, um, he ate Ivy's dad and then let us run away. Does he get XP every time he does that? Ooh, I don't know. Probably not much. You only get X You only get a lot of XP for a kill. So that could be, uh, so probably not. Unless he has lethality and he accidentally crits himself and dies. Did he walk in? He was he was properly summoned. He, it was it was a proper summoning, summoning. He yeah he was they they had to do like a little ritual with some magic artifacts and stuff. Then we depart. He was not walking around around pre, pre that chapter. We'll be back before you know it. I hope not. <laughs> that would be a very funny end to the edgy character. <laughs> just accidentally slips and crits himself and prox lethality and dies. <laughs> uh, He's way too attached to that other veil. It's gross. Truly, but it doesn't matter at the moment and won't as long as he stays in his place. 
He's clearly the one kind of good bad guy. I will always love Mafia. Always. As long as he obeys. Now we have a serious matter to discuss. What Lady Vale said about having a sibling. Right, right. That dragonstone of hers, something about it being whole, not broken. Uh huh. Yes, exactly. We need to look into that. The situation bears examination. Someone exam those situation bears. Whenever the situation bears show up, you gotta do. You gotta investigate them. Why can't he be a hilariously obvious bad guy like us? <laughs> what did he not read the script? Does he not know what this plot is? He does know that we're not allowed to have subtlety. It's like he's making a mockery of our profession. Here we are. Give report. Give report. I expected it to be better defended. <laughs> we just sailed right in. What do you do after a big mission? Give report. Hi, it's me. I'm the scout. I come with news. Well, don't just stand there. Give report. <sighs> this map is great. I'm excited for what comes. Ooh, <laughs> even Dede can't pronounce it well. What's wrong? This is a port town. It's typically bustling with people. Why is it so quiet? Well, it's called the Dead Town, so they're probably dead. I see someone over there. Maybe they can tell us. Divine one, wait. That's. That's clearly a corrupted. <laughs> Are you serious? You looked at this guy and was like, oh, a, uh, a, a simple uh, uh, peasant. Time stamping that dad joke for CNN. <laughs> one of the corrupted. Yes. And surely not the only one here. You're right. More like it surely, because this is a port town. town. Which means... I'm afraid so. Does the fell dragon mean to destroy Illusia too? But that makes no sense. I mean, it makes a lot of sense when you realize he's just a bad guy. All I know is we can't turn a blind eye. We've got to get rid of them. No, we move on. What? And abandon the people here? Princess Ivy, tell us what you want to do. We leave this place. <gasps> there are people in danger. We have a responsibility to help them. It seems, I mean, we've only seen one person, and it was a corrupted. We got there right after the attack. There were people to save. Look around. We're too late. Far too late. <laughs> Alfred, shut your mouth. <laughs> shut that cute mouth of yours. There aren't any survivors. I would have wished nothing more than to help the people here. But with every passing moment, more lives may be lost elsewhere. Yeah, this is a this is a tough decision to make. We must protect the living. Like have it like realizing that you're too late and and trying to like find the uh like the best way to spend your time. Like where like what's the most efficient productive use of your time to save more people? This is terrible. <laughs> Ivy's easily the most sensible of all the royals and she's trying to kill us. <laughs> Clear, yeah, I think I think that's the lesson to learn here is that we need to convert the people who tried to kill us. Like this, but it's not my decision. You'd already recognize the choice Princess Ivy. I think we could I you? think we could possibly convert Mavie. Hmm? No, that was Thank you for your support, Divine One. Now, to the castle. Ask Sombron. <laughs> You're gonna cut and run just like that. We need to level up our persuasion. Yeah, I'm not I'm not very charismatic for a deity. This isn't a cult of personality. Alfred, shut <laughs> shut your silver spoon mouth. Who's Team there? Rocket's here. Hello, it's me, your old pal Marnie. Oh, and Mavier is here too. We meet again. I Hopefully really for the last time. Decided to stay and fight the corrupted. Would have been so much easier. So but much easier. Chickens afraid of them. <laughs> Isn't that right? Wow, pulling out the grade school the insults. The dragon was thinking only of what's best for everyone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just shut up, will ya? You're 
annoying me. You guessed right. The port fell a long time ago. But I won't let you just walk away. Wait, how's this for a deal? Drop your emblem rings and you can go. I've killed you guys. I've, I'm sorry. I've beat you guys four times. Maybe three. I don't know. Uh, I really don't think you're at a place of negotiation. You've been utterly trounced. Thoroughly trounced, in the words of Marin. So, uh, I don't really see why you think you have the right or the, the, the upper hand here. I don't think so. <laughs> I figured we're the shot, though, right? Well, time to fight then. And don't worry, we brought lots and lots of the corrupted. Oh. Oh. Tell me one thing first. Oh. What? Vale. Is she all right? <laughs> Lady Vale. <laughs> she. That's right. Shush, Marmier. We didn't come here to blab secrets. Afraid we can't answer that, Divine One. Our lips are sealed. Tell you what, when this is over, I'll whisper it into your dead little ears. How are you so confident after being beaten so many times? I wish I was that confident after abject failure. But with no one left alive, we're glad to get the truth out of you, one way or another. Her int is as high as her magic and speed stat. <laughs> yeah. Not much of a planner. Of your have of your take. Nah, I just went ahead and borrowed a couple. Oh, look at all this fart glass everywhere. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Marnie, when this is discovered, you're not gonna be punished because I'm killing you here. Scolded, punished, Her IQ is two, and it's entirely because of the two eggs she had for breakfast this morning. Besides, if I capture even one more ring, imagine the praise I'll get. I'll be a hero. Is that something that, that you've case, wanted? He will not forgive you. Ugh, skip the lecture, okay? Just put it on. If you ruin my chance to shine, I will forgive you. All right. Marnie wishes she was as cool as Marnie. Marnie A. All right, let's save this. Let's take a look. Can I please have 12 units? Yes, life is good. From Oh, that's right. Marnie from Sword and Shield is awesome. I do like that character. She's She's got a cool design. And her brother is cool. All right, what are we working with here? We've got some dragon things. We've got some places to possibly rescue. Oh, it's Sapphire. Cool. I was wondering when she was going to show up. That's pretty sweet. It's a freaking green unit. She's a Brodian, I believe. Let's take a look. A warrior from Brodia. She is dauntless and determined. A seeker of the truth. And she is. 37. Will to win. If unit's HP is 50% or less at start of combat, grants extra hit and 20... Extra... Plus 20 hit and avoid during combat. So she pairs well with Ike then, because that whole thing is having low HP and being bulky as hell. The retainer to King Morian. Oh. Her stats are quite good. <laughs> at least 23. She's, she's cool. I like her design. Strength 24. Ooh, nice dex. Decent speed, decent defense. She's 35. Excuse me. That, yeah, that, I was being impolite. Ooh, a brave axe. Ooh, cool. I might give that to somebody else. Um, I like her. She's pretty cool. I like her design. This is a pretty good spot right here. So we've got axe, lance, sword. Let's bring that there. And then 
healing in that. Over here, we've got pretty good setup here. Would you say her design complements the bench? Um, yes. If only because, uh, like, uh, we already have a really good team. If I didn't have a full, like, squad that I really, really liked, I would actually consider using her. I would consider it. But now's not the time. Uh, I think we had Amber using Leaf, so let's go ahead and give him that again. Leaf to battle. To battle. Unfortunately, Sephir joins a bit too weak comparative to your team in hard mode. In mad mode, she's quite good. She joins with 2k SP. Whoa! That is really good. Yeah, because that means she can like instantly get a couple of really good abilities. Good late, good old late game joins. They never win. Yep, her and Linden. No luck. But you won't know that until you recruit her. That's true. And Griff's back. Hey, Griff. We were just taking a look at this map. I think we're ready. Um, I'll give a quick look over my inventory. Make sure I've got like healing spells and shit. Make sure everybody's kind of ready to go here. We got a Rider's Bane because I see a lot of uh, a lot of horses. Um, Boosh, do you have your poleaxe? Yes, you do. All right, I feel pretty good. I feel like we got this. And I know uh, Alchrist has the Mulla gear, so he can hopefully do some serious damage to uh, those dragons. Villages too, yes. We are going to try to save the villagers. We're going to do our best. There's one right there, so that seems like a pretty easy get. Ooh, we've got a cannon. Divine one, the flame cannons. With those, you can burn right through that. Oh, cool. And then there's a random old woman here. Divine dragon dock here. The place is infested. Her voice isn't old enough. Guess I've got no choice but to cut my way through these moldering bastards. I mean, she sounds like thirty. As you wish. Um, let's see. So we can go here and we can do a little firing. A little firing squad. And that'll get rid of that miasma and do some quick damage to them. Let's go ahead and do that. Flavia was a cool 30 something. That's true. Flavia is awesome. I I don't hate Saphir. I want I want that to be very clear. I think she is cool. I'll do my best. I think she is neat. Okay, so that spot's actually safe. Um, so let's see if we can get somebody up there. Understood. Then we can use a dragon vein. Oh, it works around like that. Okay, it's not like the other one. What if I go here and dragon vein? There we go. Verily. Verily. Do recall great ether can blow Oh it can. Okay, I did not I did not recall that. Thank you for the free recall. Yeah, I just used the dragon vein over here. Um Okay, this map is not as big as I thought it was. It's got a lot of openness to it, but it's not as big as I thought it was, which is fine. What's um, next? So that we'll go here. What is I need to remember what form we're on right now. We're on Lunar Brace. If unit initiates combat with a physical attack, deals extra damage, 20% of foe's defense. Um, Ellie, since you're here, it says initiates combat with a physical attack. Does the Radiant Bow count as a physical attack that does magic damage? Or is physical attack anything that's not a tome? And then tomes are magic attack. Like, how does it... Um, like, is he using a physical attack technically with the Radiant Bow? Or is the Lunar Brace part kind of not worth it on him? 
Because the other one is where he heals, I think. Because it doesn't seem all that useful. So now... That's bravery. If unit initiates... Now the Solar Brace, if unit initiates combat, unit recovers 30% HP and damage dealt. I believe it's with melee damage, not magical damage. Okay, so him using Lunar Brace is not worth it. So we'll keep him on Brave, because this just says unit deals plus 3 damage, uh, which is pretty sweet. Because um, it's not physical damage, it's just damage, which is actually really cool. Any damage that uses strength, including punching. Okay, then we'll stick with this. We will stick with that. Lunar Brace is nice for Longbow, but Bravery's flat plus three is hard to pass. And yeah, no Let's kidding. Like, having that on, like, a Brave weapon or punches could be kind of cool. Because um, if you're doing three plus damage per attack... Like if you've got if you've got the solar thing on with bravery next to a leer, like that's plus six damage times four. If you've got a brave weapon or punches that you can double with, that's pretty good damage. That's not bad. I think I'm gonna use that on my uh the Alir I'm building on my second playthrough is an, a Halberdier, Halberlier, Halberlier. Um, and I've just built them a brave one. Uh, so if I can get good speed and stuff, I think Erica would be a good pick there. If you're not using Erica on Calvary for the burst damage from Twin Strike, then you want to put Erica on your Martial Punchers because they quad. Yeah, massive damage. Sweet. Big freaking sweet. Awaiting orders. All right, let's move forward here. Let's get some shit going. Anbu Super. This game has been really difficult for me, stuck on Chapter 10, and most of my units are permadead. Hey, thank you for chatting. Uh, yeah, Chapter 10 was brutal, uh, but really fun. It was quite the challenge, though, so I don't blame you for uh, running into some troubles. Are you going in blind? Uh, what difficulty are you playing on? Thanks for, uh, thanks for chatting. I really do appreciate it. Big welcomes. Ooh, a warp shenanigans? We doing warp shenanigans? Interesting. 10 to 12, it's your first Fire Emblem game. Ooh, congratulations. I'm happy to see uh, more people playing. I'm not hyper, uh, like, familiar. I I've played a bunch of Fire Emblem games, but I would not call myself a huge Fire Emblem knower. Um... So good. I'm I'm happy you're playing. Jeez. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Obviously, I'm having trouble too. <laughs> uh, I feel like this could be a pretty good first game. But yeah, it it can be challenging. Obviously, is demonstrating that with Makaya Warp, you can warp multiple units in a single cast. Oh, interesting. I lack mechanical knowledge and abilities. That's kind of where I am now. I've been getting a lot of a lot of help from the people in my chat. Uh, Ellie, who's here right now, has been an incredible boon. The more you know, the better. Engage is a great welcome to FE game, FE Awakening too. That that's harder to access. I would say, uh, I like. I probably like. Uh, Awakening more, but I do actually really like this game. I think it's really good. If there's anything that we can help you with, with my limited knowledge and Ellie's absolute wealth, treasure trove of knowledge, please let us know. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that's un, that's pretty freaking uncool, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a pretty dick move. 
You may want to try casual mode, which allows your dead units to respawn at the end of chapters, much like the Shining Force series. You might want to try the Shining Force series. <laughs> got him. Well, they, yeah, they got me. They 100% got me. It's okay. We got them. I'm not I'm not scared of a few corrupted, I say, before I 100% get my booty cheeks clapped. I didn't get any DLC because I heard it gives you rings for easier advantages. That's what I've heard, too. Uh, I am not doing it. I'm trying to go in relatively relatively blind, um, just getting help from uh, from chat every once in a while. But that's about it. Ooh, this is nice. This will set up a couple of really easy kills for us. Let's try that. Do we do this? We can do this. Yeah, let's try that. I'm going to do that. I think a lot of this game definitely comes down to, like, how well... Like, how, how do you already know the systems? Like, do you know how to build a character? Um, stuff like that. It's, it's not an... It can be an easy game. Maybe. It can also be a, a very challenging game. It, it depends on how... How much, yeah, knowledge is always the best, uh, the best resource to me. You get one ring uh, to help your game start. The rest of the rings you gotta earn. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that in the DLC? I made a stupid mistake and killed off my healer using the ring ult. I mean, if you are struggling, there is no shame in like restarting. I think like if especially because you know what's happening um, because you know what's going to happen uh, you can actually kind of speed run through some of it so it actually won't be as difficult I'll keep her here for backup uh, I'm playing another round at uh, on my own, and it's a lot easier now that I kind of know what to expect. Um, I'm and I'm changing the way that I play a little bit, so like I'm doing different things with different characters, and it's a lot of fun. So, especially if it's your first time, like don't feel that you have to go hard mode first things first. Like you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. Because it's they're going to throw surprises at you. And something that I've had to like teach and learn myself is that uh, if you aren't having fun, <laughs> uh, you, are, you don't have to keep playing the way that you're playing. Especially if it like if it turned you off from the series, if like you got if it kind of burnt you out in, a, in such a way that it made you not want to keep playing the games. Uh, I would just restart. Um, you could probably get back to where you were before and just take it casually. There's absolutely no, like, gatekeeping, at least in my mind, where you're, like, not a real, uh, uh, like, Fire Emblem person if you don't go, like, full normal mode, whatever, like, first things first. It just that's just not how, that's not how we behave here. Let's, uh, let's wait. One technique can be a funnel. Well, it can be to funnel a lot of XP into your layer. I'd say the one problem with that, based off of what little I know, is that, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, the, um, the skirmishes go, like, round up to your Alir's level. So if your Alir is really high, wouldn't that make grinding more difficult for your lower level units? It hurts some of your early game units, but having a strong U helps a lot. Yeah, what do you think, uh, if someone is struggling, Ellie, do you think that they should, um, 
make Alir the Divine Dragon class, or should they uh, should they do something else? Should they should they reclass? All right, so Mavier is just teleporting people over, and then they're just wasting their time healing each other, which I guess is fine. It means they're not attacking. Good job, I, I guess. Oh, crap, did I have... Th I had Thoron equipped to her. Dang it. Big mistakes were made. Okay, we're su we survived. Thank goodness Ivy is a tough, a tough girl. Oh no, you've made her mad. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Stop attacking Panette. It doesn't work out, bro. It's not a good look. Basically, okay. Thank you for the math. Because I'm I'm not going to do the math myself. I'll tell you that for free. Good job. Good job, Saphir. Um, Ellie, uh, I read because uh, I, I have been doing some outside research about the game. The uh, I, I heard some people go dancer, not dancer earlier, um, Byleth Alir because they're in the Divine Dragon class. They get um, really good, like bonus or something. Like the the dancing bonus is quite good. Can you confirm or deny that? Ooh, thank you. <laughs> I forgot she will die. Stupid Saphir. I forgot she's not, like, under my control yet. Alright. There, Byleth Alir gives the instruct bonus to all stats. Okay, that's, that's what I heard. Uh, I didn't see why it was good. I just heard people say that it was good. It was good. So now I know what they meant. All right. So what is her deal here? Like, well, how is she? How is she probably going to kill herself? What's your plan here? What's your game? What if I go? If I go here, I can get into a very good backup range. So we're going to do this. We're going to kill this fool. But only as Divine Dragon. Okay. So, uh, Anbu, uh, maybe you can do that if you're struggling with um, with your character. You can have uh, go Divine Dragon Alir, which I think has decent stats from what I know. And then later in the game, you'll get a special way to like use it You can dance, which gives other characters another turn. And you can use an uh, ability that like basically boosts everyone's stats in an area. So if your other characters are struggling, you could use your decent Alir to boost everyone else to help them get kills. And then you don't have to worry much about like going outside of... Um, what's the term? You, you don't have to worry about uh, classing into a different class. You don't have to worry about that. You can just go kind of with what the game recommends and you'll be okay. The units that joined from Chapter 11, yes, that's true. We are using... We like them. We are using them. Highly recommend. Let's have Jean heal Saphir. I think that's a decent idea. Be the kill here. Yeah, if you, if you wanted to continue with your um, with your run where you lost people, 
uh, yeah, you will get you'll get a lot of enemy. You'll get a lot of new allies relatively quickly. The game gives you a bunch. Like there are a bunch of characters we are not using right now. I could go here. Ooh, man, that's dangerous. Um, we can go here and kind of set him up with a Rider's Bane uh, to hopefully take those hits. Oh, but they'll probably... They're probably... Yeah, daggers. Never mind. Let's go ahead. Who needs to kill more? 18, 13, 13... 13, okay. Only what I deserve. I'm going to move her back. Hit him with a little Bolognese. There we go. Throw a small sun at them. That seems to do good damage. Um, I'm not going to put him there. He might, he might take too many hits. Let's put me there. Panette can stay. Alright, let's see what they do. Okay, coming back over. We killed most of them. Alright, we still take zero damage. That's good. Jeez, I didn't realize Louis has 67 health. That's really good. One thing I wish this game did in the other Fire Emblem games that let you forge, you can read. Yeah, that's so fun. It's a little, it's a bit of a shame. Oh, that's right. He is on Corrin. <laughs> yeah, that guy makes you bulky as hell. Which would be another good thing uh, if you're trying to make your Aaliyah really good. Uh, Corrin is another option. Corn is known known to make people bulky. Nice, good job, Saphir. Not killing yourself. Uh, we're like one away. <laughs> All right, we just got to keep her alive. Then, simple enough. Nice, get a little speed taker there. Love to see it. Ooh, an alacrity level two. Let's get a little boosh action in here. Big boosh fans around here. Fans of the boosh. He just swung that thing like a baseball bat. Nice. Okay, so Byleth's looking good over there. She's level 10. Let's see. Can we get her that kill? If I go here, is she going to... Nah, she'll be okay. If we Brave Lance, yeah. I don't do mercy. In your alt game, consider using a warp or rescue for recruiting Saphir. Yeah, I realized that was probably what I should have done before. Um, but it's fine now. It's fine. She'll be okay. Oh, okay. He's in... Uh, I wonder what he'll do. Ooh, he's got, he's got spells. We need to keep him out of there. Um, I wonder, is he going to move? I bet he'll probably move, won't he? All right, let's um, let's just heal her again. I'm good now. Oh yeah, I always forget about the the reposition tech. I always forget that flyers can just like boop people over over gaps. It's so funny. I mean, I love it. How far can you move? 
So I can, I can put her here, and we can do some attacking. Let's go for this one. If I may. Bam! Ah, oh, missing an 82. You hate to see it. All right, but that's okay, because we're going to go here, and we're going to dance. There we go. Nice. One thing I've done in my uh, my other playthrough is um, I have put Byleth on my Sage uh, Citrine, so she's doing like she's got a nice. I think I gave her Thoron recently, so she's got like that nice five range Thoron, just blasting people. It's so cool. It's so fun and stupid. I love it. You're done for. Nice. All right, so we've got three people. Let's attack. I glued Pilot Pilot to Pendreo because of that five range throw on life. It's so funny. It's really good. <laughs> Blow that super dance and then five range to proc. So, yeah. Oh, man, it's nice. It's really good. All right, we can move him here. Um, What can we do for her? We can attack. If we go hand axe, that could help us take out both of these guys. Or we could we give Pondreo a kill real quick. An attack. Levin kill. There we go. Nice clean kill. Alternatively, a four range Bologna that doubles. Ooh, good point. Good point. Go here. Kill this person. Bushido. Thanks for the assist. Back, what did I miss? Not much. We've been uh, working our way through the map here. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want to keep her in that spot. What are the odds of us critting? Really low. Dad jokes. Yep, that's true. Sophia on the map in one village Teach visited was loaded with zombies. Yeah, they got me. They got me. Maybe she'll crit. Because if she doesn't crit, uh, then Ivy dies. And this kind of puts us at a, a disadvantage. Alright, let's just do this and maybe we can survive the next round. Let's have some fun. Thanks. Yeah, it's a good recap. I think I think all the major points were were covered there. HP, strength, speed, defense. Maybe Panette will crit. Do you doubt? It's happened before. There was one. There was once a time when she did not crit. Oh, interesting. Okay, more tellies. I like that Mavier is like a little bit of a trickster guy. It's cool. I like I like that he's. Uh, Doing stuff like that. It's funny. Alright, Tamara taking a bit of a hit here. Ugh. I don't play nice. Nice. Were you raised by wolves? He. <laughs> Uh-oh. Panette dodge the 55? Damn. Thank you for the stretch. Something the straight laced to honor knight is the trickster of the hounds. I get he's he's just teleporting people all over the place. I mean, we got hit by like two sixties, a two seventies, and a and a fifty five. If, if only we could make killer axe a a range. Indeed. 
All right, so let's go back. I'm trying to think of some other ideas here. So let's go back to when Louis attacked. So this guy only has a stiletto, so we can block him. So what we can do is, as long as we can keep somebody in line here, I think we'll be okay. If we kill both of these guys, we'll be fine. So let's attack this one. We don't get alacrity, but we can just not get hit by a 40 and we'll be fine. Have you ever considered that? Mm. There we go. Just like us, getting hit by 40%. All right, and then we go here, and we go here. Yeah, this was this was this was the call. I just did a bad job last time. And then that goes there, and then that goes there, and we just have to hope Pendreo does not uh, die. Hope he can just take a hit. There we go. I'm sorry you had to see that. Get a nice good level up again. I mean, it's an excellent level up. HP, strength, speed, and defense. It's about all I could ask for. Maybe a little bit of dex, but she's already going to crit out her damn mind, so... Probably not too worrisome. Oh, she's using a sword now. Interesting. Are you... We got hit by a 36... Come on. So one day she might crit something with high HP. <laughs> you never know. That's unfortunate. All right, just let me let me skip back to my phase, please. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna have to go back a little further. The fact that Ivy missed like an 80 kind of kind of screwed us over and we couldn't get as many kills as we wanted. Do 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 do. Okay, so we're going to go back to before Tamara attacked just so she doesn't get into the danger zone. Just get this kill. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get her that nice level. HP, strength, des resist. Good stuff. And I'll keep her back. Everybody else can just chill. Just give Saphir a quick mend before she does something stupid. Okay. All right. So we're going to try this O oh, one more time. If we go here. Oh, okay. That's why we didn't we weren't doing any damage because this one's in in the goop, in the good goop. All right. So let's we're going to stay here. We're not going to move uh Louie this time. It's really funny to just see a wolf bouncing off of a guy. <laughs> okay, so that time the hex didn't work. Do these guys have the thing that makes it so they don't... They don't get... Uh, frozen? Or... Are... If unit initiates combat, target foe and all foes within one space of it cannot move for one turn after combat. So why didn't that proc? Because we just initiated combat. Target foe and all foes within one space. Did it work and I just don't see it? No, it says they can both move. Why is that?
I don't understand how that thing procs now. See, she didn't... Did you see her? She didn't, uh... She didn't crit with an 87% chance. It can not happen. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's do... He can take this person. And then I can kill... Uh, the other wolf, and then, and then from range, maybe Ivy can kill the other one. If I may. May all find there, yeah, there's, okay, there's got to be something I don't understand about that, that hex move, or that hex proc. Because it should have, uh, I feel like a couple of times now, it didn't work. One time it was because it didn't hit. Like we assumed that you had to actually make contact. Like a missing missing wasn't good enough. So I wonder what it really is. Alright, so that'll do that. Um, and then can you Okay, you can't. So he can move like that is the problem. Okay. Can you dance anybody else? No, too far away to dance. Okay, I don't think it's safe to have her nearby. I was hoping that she'd be able to kill. Um, but anywhere I put her, she's bound to get killed. Alright. We're going to keep her back. And we're going to do something else. Can she staff first, then dance and attack? Uh, let's see. We've got obstruct. We could obstruct somebody. We could go this and obstruct here. I always forget that I have these utility spells. Thank you for the reminder, Ellie. So that puts... That's a bit of safety there. And we bring Sadal over to dance. Whee! Okay, and then he can... He stays right here to proc a little heal. There we go. And then... Ah, oh, she'll get hit by that too. Okay. I put it... I should have put it right there. <laughs> um... Okay, whatever. Uh, we should be able to handle it. Okay, so Marnie's a coming. She has Roy. Okay, good to know. Hobble! No! Why did I move him there? I don't know. There we go. Now she's in perfect crit range. He survived. Because he's in the goop. That bastard's in the goop. He's being powered by his own farts. Everyone loves the smell of their own brand. I don't like this. Okay. There we go. All right, let's let's kill these fudgers. We're all in the goop. Everybody spends a little bit of time in the goop. And there's nothing you can do about it. Some days, some days you're just a goopy day. Some days it's just a goop day. All right, I'm gonna go here to baloney them. That only does four damage, jeez. If I may. There we go. Get that quick kill. Thank you, Ivy. Um, and then I can go here to get a quick Rider's Bane. 
only a 68% chance, but I will take some damage. So let's see if we can do some quicker damage here first. 41%. Be <laughs> adapting this into therapy. <laughs> it's a good lesson. Backups ignoring goop defense boost. Yes, I do like that a lot. All right, so we're going to get our team set up here for taking out this dragon. Oh, crap. I should have, uh, should have anteed the goop. All right, let's talk. Saphir? Prince Alchrist, am I glad to see you. I got Prince Diamond's letter about heading to Illusia. Figured you could use an extra soldier. Would you say this was a goopy day? On a scale from uh, goop free to uh, a, a Japanese uh, hentai, what was the level of goop of your day? I appreciate your coming here. I'm sure Diamant and the Divine Dragon will as well. How are you and the other royal soldiers faring? The They're all dead. Safe, but we spent a long time waiting for our king. I apologize that we weren't able to <laughs> no Gwyneth Paltrow. To <laughs> but we will not bring further grief to Brodius' people. I will see that my brother returns alive. You're a credit to our kingdom, Prince Alchrist. I mean, it helps that he can't die. Because he's a plot-relevant character. He just gets retired. I won't let one more drop of proud Brodian blood be spilled. Thanks, Saphir. Ooh, and I get to attack after that. That's nice. I wasn't expecting a free free little hit. Get him. Luna, Luna proc? Little Luna proc, maybe? In these trying times? Unfortunate. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. It's, it's just the way life is sometimes. Set me loose. All right, so this is getting a little, a little bit. The goop is a little strong here today. Right. You can move out of the way. I want to save you uh, to be a boss killer. Let's give you a quick heal. Um, let's set Saphir here. The Saphir goes here. Saphir looks older than the old people, and yet she's so young. And yet she is young. Inexplicably, she is young. Um, we might wait for them to come to us. I'm concerned about this double boss in your split team. Yeah, I'm not super happy about it. I'm not super happy about it. But, you know, I've made my bed. Now it's time to eat it. That's that's what the kids say. Whoo, jeez, that's a lot of dablage. That dablage is big dablage. I've got, I mean, I've got a setup. I just need, I definitely need them to come to us. Because they keep, they keep kind of just th throwing themselves to us. There's a chance we can just uh, wait for them to, to kill. So that's another one of those. Okay, don't like that. I'm a little worried about Amber. Hmm. I go here. That puts me at a little bit more risk. Between that guy. Okay, we're gonna stay here. And then what could we do? We can come over here. Let's dance Ivy. I don't think I'll need her for the dragon. Another another trap village? How exciting. Can I staff obstruct something? Here. 
This is called, now I'm thinking with portals. That's because his big brain moves now, baby. Big brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We got this. Ooh, he's coming. Good lord, he's coming. Let us waste no time. I must return to Lady Vale. A little crush on her. Ooh. Okay, we we take those. The boss music has begun. Okay, Saphir is not as uh, capable as I once thought. We're going to back up more. Yeah, you came all this way just to die. Not even of old age, like I expected you to. Here they come. Alright, so let's go. Time crystal back. Let's set ourselves up a little bit better in this middle section. That's fine. Alcris talked. That's good. So let's stop there. So they've got some good move here. We just need to make sure we're also not within his range. That's the scary thing. If we can still bait him into attacking us, we'll be okay. Um, so Amber, come way over here. Heal up. Yes, and I can obstruct them. Yeah, that is my. Uh, that's the other thing I'm thinking about is kind of screwing them up that way. We're at a much better uh, situation this time uh, because I didn't put friggin' Amber right there. So I was trying to protect him last time. Um, so I can do a little bit more. Thank goodness it kind of tells me what the how the pink's going to change. Put him here. If Saphir... So that puts... Alchrist in danger. Stupid Alchrist having to talk to old people. Um, okay, I got an, I've, I've got another idea, just in case. Staff, do you have rescue? Okay, no. I thought it, I thought it was Ivy, but I wanted to make sure before I did anything. Let's go. Okay, so that puts us in danger again. And we wait. All right, so Ivy, if we staff, okay, she does. Okay, she doesn't have it. I must have taken it off for some reason. Um, Alright, so from this location, Alchrist is at least safe from Mav. So if we staff, obstruct, is he still in danger? Let's see. Oh, interesting. Okay, he's completely changed his plan. Fascinating. Okay. Nice. Good dodge. Good dodge. Nice. This is a lot better. <laughs> In some ways. In some ways, it's very confusing. Well, let's attack here and do a little 
A little bit of breaking. This is it. I did not expect him to move in the other direction. That's kind of cool. All right, so we're staying there. Alchrist, please move to a safer location. Can we get a silver bow kill? Let's go ahead. Oh, wow. I'm not going to. I just don't do damage. That's the problem. If it means anything, this map ends on boss kills. Gotcha. Okay. That does help. Um, what if we do this? Attack. Kill this dude. Mainly noting that for the village visit. Okay. I'll take this. My turn. Still Jeez, look at those backups. Nice. I'm sorry. Beautiful stuff. You love to see it. All right, can we go over here and... Killer Lance? What are the odds of us doing anything there? 27%. There's a chance we kill. Pretty low, but there's a chance. Nice. Ugh, but we dot we lose a 76. So then immediately being able to inherit dual assist plus is nutty. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. That's real good. Alright. Our boy Al Chris can get a kill here. Clutch. I have no choice but to win. Okay, we can do a little bit of damage there, or we can do this. I'd rather I don't want her to get the kill. It's uh the world understands style points, I think is what has to... I think that's what happens. He's just like, oh, that was clearly very stylish. You're clearly a man of great, excellent style. Style points count. It's like Devil May Cry. Style points 100% count. Mm. Okay, it's kind of a shame that Sephir missed that, but it's okay. You know, I wasn't expecting too much. Um, this will probably be safe. That guy's going to do 20 damage, so... Ch yeah, chances are Jean can survive this. Man, Ivy's getting good stuff done over there. Just... Being able to assist like that. It's really nice. Okay. So this part is now a, a tad bit scary. Because this thing, you know, not nothing. It's not nothing. Uh, I feel like we could probably push, like, kind of retreat a little bit and be okay. So let's see what our options are. This puts us only in range of Mav, but he's a magic user. So what happens... How much do he do? He kill. Okay. He kill. So we definitely don't want him in that zone. That is not a good place for us. Okay. So we go here and we dance. Or we could have chain guarded, but also not exactly what I want. And we will wait. Get a little bit of quality time there. Move back. We move back. And he's going to attack differently. Oh, we're still in range. Oh, no, wait. That's right. He can, uh, we, we danced so we can have another opportunity. Your orders, please. Okay. 
There we go. It's silly you would even ask a question like that. It's, yeah, what, what do you mean? Style is always the answer. All right, let's wait. And let's let them come to us. Perfect, he is coming to us. Okay, Jean's doing fine. This is all according to Keikaku. Okay. Here's a thought that occurred to me is we go engage with our boy Alchrist. I want to see a couple of things. One, I want to see Astra Storm with this. Can I just eliminate this dragon from existence? That does no damage. I thought the whole thing was that this was for killing dragons. Why does that do no damage? That's uh, that, that's kind of a bummer. I'm going to be honest, that's a bit of a bummer. Is it the goop? He's not in the goop. He is he is he he's he's out of the goop. He's all right, he's finally strong. He can finally do damage. Uh, I've noticed. How much... Uh, what are our odds here? 21. We can delete one of his health bars with Panette pretty reliably. And then we could dance and do it again. <laughs> Uh, so my first thought is attack with this, um, like right here. A little danger, a bit danger. Panette doing all the work twice, I like it. It's, she's so reliable, I can't help it. I can't help it. Let us waste no time. I must return to Lady Vale. Yeah, we get it, man. We get it, bro. I mean, there's a good chance I just crit, too. Remember that Marnie will have Hoy roll. Yeah, oh, gosh. Holdout's so annoying. Um, okay, so we can go here. That puts me in danger. I'll go here just to be safe. Um... Can I, I can almost get a kill there? I'd like to get the first kill out of the way. Oh, wait. Um, engage. Won't you join me? Here we go. Torrential roar. Wow, that doesn't kill. All right, whatever. It's still a good choice. Louis looks great in that white hair. That's really nice. I was hoping it would. Uh, I didn't expect it to. I was just, you know, I was just hoping. A man can hope. All right, so we're gonna get Louis out of the way. We've got our, we've got our damage. Do I not have Elf Thunder on? Oh, Elf Thunder would be from a different location. Um, all right, so let's go attack. This is a clean kill. There's one. I'm back. What I missed? Can I have a review? <laughs> what did she? What did he get? What did he get? He got a brave lance and a warp. Okay, that's the warp he already had. So he's got, he's got new scary magic. Is what he's got. Dad joke. Sophia recruitment took a while. Bottom house was fun. Yep. Good old bottoms. Uh, can I? If he if his stats are lower now, is it now a better time to try the uh, the Astra Storm? 
Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> the house is on. It's really funny. I I liked it. I'm okay with them doing that to me. I think it's a little funny. Um, if I do, I'm I'm trying my best not to always fall back on the same strategy. If I engage, everybody gets the thing, right? Now everybody has the the special. Is that correct? It is now a global thing. They're stress one blind Iron Man like I did. <laughs> Everybody with oh okay okay that does uh, that does change things I will admit all right well we're not gonna do that it's designed around inheriting to multiple people isn't it super expensive or is that a different thing that is not a lot of damage all right Panette. All right, we got an 89% chance to be okay. You down on me? It's, yeah, it, it's a little too expensive. I'm sorry you had to see that. It'd be really cool to build it around, like build a team around it, but yeah. Probably not going to happen. No, I don't, I'm not. I'm not that interested in grinding. Okay, and we try again. Another 88. So we just got to hit an 89 percent. What's so hard about an 89 percent? 89 percents happen every day. One v one, me bro. Hey, Sothis. I mean, nobody. I mean, nobody. Is there any way for me to get that kill? Even if you grind the well for SP books, spending like 3k per unit is a lot. Yeah, that's a little much for daddy. You keep mentioning that name, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry, my brain, I was saying so this, but because I'm playing Fire Emblem, I decided to say so this, because it's funny. Um, so this is my next move. Um, I think we're going to go here, and we're going to staff obstruct this big lizard. Three K is way too much. Three K is far too much. There we go. Now everybody's safe. Where's my girl Marnie? Marnie is over yonder. <laughs> I'll obstruct your big lizard. <laughs> Good utility staffing. Thank you, Ellie. I am learning. I'm proud to say, I am learning. <laughs> against everyone's, <laughs> against all odds, I am learning. I saw that speed growth on Ivy. That makes me pretty happy. Uh, so on my other playthrough, I've turned Ivy into a sniper. Uh, so Snivy uh, with the magical bow. She does good damage. Um, the damage is pretty good. I'm probably going to give her a um, one of the magic permanent upgrades just to help her in the beginning. And then maybe give her some speed because she's not doubling. Uh, but it's a pretty interesting thing. I should become a manager. Ooh, but I hate bosses. I'd, uh, I'd be I'd be a boss that hates bosses. Then again, I already hate myself. So what's the difference? No, wait, wait. I'm supposed to be more positive. I'm supposed to be giving myself compliments. Um... 
that use of staff to block that big lizard was a good idea, and so was using Torrential Roar to block this guy in place. I used good strategy. In my run at endgame, I ended up using her as a marshal, and she quad she quadded super hard. Cool. Oh, man, that seems fun. There's a lot of ways that this game is just really, really fun and, f and just like a good time. I'm going to bring our boy over here to maybe help with that. No, he should stay over here. He should stay over here. The dragon the dragon we will take care of over here. Um, yeah, let's go. We've got a we've got a good team over here. I feel confident that we can take down Marnie. Let's go. I hope I did you proud, Simian. I tried to do a good thing with my brain. Ooh, clutch curious dance. That dance. That so so interesting, so curious of a dance. Um, is there a way for me to kill this? A 37% chance to kill that? That'd be cool. What if I did... Where can you go? You can go anywhere. You can do anything. What if I go here and attack and kill? I do no damage. Oh, because he's in, he's in the goop. The man's in the goop. You hate to see it. Um, let's see. I hate it when... I hate it when they're in the goop. Marnie not approaching. She must want you to visit... I guess she does. I should send somebody up there. But what if it's just another trap? What if it's just another trap? What if I gain nothing from doing that? Jeez, those are some big those are some big booty numbers right there. Alright, I can attack and kill this guy at the very least. Don't remember where my Erica is. Erica is on Fogato. By your recommendation. Yay! That was a good level up for Louie. Quality time plus. Plus. Or just plus. Um, Alright, let's stay here. I don't think any of those guys can actually hurt us. You forget about it. Oh, hey. So we can go here again. Uh, I do. I would like to get my daddy all healed up. We, th this world, this army deserves a healthy dad. Oh, where he is physically. Uh, Fogato is right here. Fogato is right here. We c uh, is Marnie gonna move? We could, I don't know, we could maybe try to go take out that dragon real quick. And then move over. We'll see what happens. I'm, will, I'm willing to try to go fight that dragon and stuff. Maybe something cool will happen. Maybe the dragon will give us something really nice in return for killing it. Everyone's always saying, like, gotta kill the dragons, gotta slay the dragons. That's what heroes do. Um, alright, and I guess we will, uh... Let's go here. I can chain guard. Alright, what if I did... That puts me at a bit of a risky, a risky business spot. All right, let's bring him over. There we go, and then okay. if I go here, that puts me in a bad spot. 
I wish I could switch around how I did this. Um, what if I go... Okay, I'm going to go here to here. Wait. Chain guard. And we'll stay there. Ooh, okay. Let's see what happens. Aw, oh, Louie's not going to get taken down so easily. I love how Marnie has double has double lives from holdout. Yay! We love that for us. Uh, let's have some fun. Yeah, it, it is pretty smart to, to give, like, a general tough unit um, holdout. It's a smart thing. It's a smart choice. I'll give it to him. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky I wasn't strong enough. I was in vantage range, my dude. You would have got blasted up the ass, did Okay, she's moving. She's she's moving now. This is a fun little situation we've got ourselves in. Panette the goat. Retribution is due. Can she just kill this thing? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> kill it. I'll beat you to a pole. Dragon Slayer Panette. Dragon Slayer Panette. She's done this multiple times, too. In the Byleth chapter, she also just instant killed a bunch of dragons, so. Whatever it's kind of her deal. A goat? Is that any way to refer to a lady? You know, if she were a goat, she could climb mountains and she'd be less likely to get looked down upon. So she might actually want to be a goat. No one can look down at you when you're a mountain goat. It's funny how Marnie charges and the hype music finally stops. Yeah, because they, they know they know there's no chance that she's getting anything done. No chance. Underpants. Panetta isn't a dragon slayer by title or blood. She just really knows how to kill things. <laughs> Imagine being hyped for Marnie. Can't imagine it. It doesn't make any damn sense. It just simply doesn't make sense. Go there. All right, let's see if we can kill this damn dragon. Got a radiant bow here. He'll do about... Well, that's good damage. Marnie should have had her own map. It'd be funny. It'd be funny in a way where we're going to kill her easily. Man, I don't think a drag one of these dragons has ever missed. I have not seen them miss one of their attacks, despite their low rain or low odds. They have consistently done damage, and I don't like it. I'm just hoping this is the time where Marnie finally dies. Is it already over? HP, strength, dex, and speed. Not bad. Not bad, Amber. And level up worthy of a hero, maybe? <laughs> the most threatening thing about Marnie is Mavia. Yeah. Why didn't he just warp her literally into my midst and, you know... Maybe something cool could have happened. But we'll never know. Can he... Uh, I wonder how much damage he does to Marnie. I bet not a lot. I'm going to guess very little. There's no way he does any damage to Marnie. <laughs> Can he kill anybody? The most is a 5x5. Five five. Wow. Um, let's see. I guess we can just get him some points. 
The fact he rescued Marnie like to him and then did nothing. It'd be really funny if he just warped her because he seems like he doesn't like her. It would be really funny for it to be like a strategy and then for her to immediately die. And he's like, oops. Oopsie daisy. Oh, Radiant Bow. Yeah, that's a good point. I could have done that. But it's too late now. And then we can go here. There. Now they're more likely to attack Big Louie. And he's more likely to end their lives. Their pathetic, miserable existences. Mistake. Oh, no. Come on. Keep trying. Come on, line up. Let's see your best. Okay. Panette, you go over there and just take a break. How about that? You've earned it. You've earned a break. Let's just get a kill. Big Louie makes him sound like a mobster, capiche? May all find salvation. You don't ever want to come up to, to Big Louie in an alley. He's real big. Forty-seven. Days. Okay, so she will instant kill Daddy if we're not careful. If you came up to uh, Big Louie in an alley, uh, he would block the alley. The alley. What with being so big and such. HP strength not great, but I'll take more strength. I can take. <laughs> You're a god. It doesn't count. Wakazishi. Let's go. Let's do this. I don't know. Louis is also Louis. Louis got some pretty big, big god energy. He might be able to do a little bit more than you expect. Do 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 do. All right, let's move Penette up. She can she can take her time. She can take her time. Ooh, can we attack? We attack, we kill. A god among men. Me first. And we laser beam. It's a shame that laser beam doesn't do damage to the people right behind them. Because it's such a big laser beam. You'd think it would do a little bit of damage to the people behind them. So we can, let's give a little dance to him. A dog among men. <laughs> yeah, Panette just almost soloed a guy. I think she can, I think it's only right that she doesn't actually fight Marnie at all. How much, do, he does pretty good damage to her. And then we can go over here, and we can kill. Marnie is going to pass away. She's be, she will become dead. Destroyer of no one. She did. She did not take the 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 hurricane axe. She's got Lance Reaver, Worm Slayer, Silver Great Axe. Goddess icon. I'm gonna be honest, not that scared. All right, Amber, you go be the hero over here and go take that. And Alchrist, what do you say? Can you get a kill for me? Nope. <laughs> she basically soloed Mavier twice and half of his cronies and also his. <laughs> yep, it was a. Uh, a pretty lousy showing for for the enemy. Let's get that kill. Woo! 
Talk about a good time. Get your ass wrecked by my team. They're good. You are not. You suck. Pen, it's better than everyone on your side. All right, I say we. Uh, I say we let them come. I say we let them come. Let them what? Let them come. We're gonna let them come. Somebody's gotta come. So do me a favor and die quick. <laughs> oh, the come. Oh. All right. Come on over here. <gasps> oh, Ellie, you tricked me. Ellie, why would you... Why would you do that to me, Ellie? I am hurt. That's some... That's some good dabblage right there. I'll tell you what right now. That's some good dabblage. All right, let's get a quick little uh, little bit of poison on there. They have enemies, but one has a reward. Oh, six damn. <gasps> Double crit. Oh, one has a reward. Ooh, okay. Well, you know what? I don't think we need it. I think we're too good. I think we're already too strong. How about that? How does that make you feel? <laughs> Worth Astra Storming? Oh. It's a shame we already used our Astra Storm. What if we did... Um, What if we did something else wacky? Can you override? Anything? Anyway? No? Okay. Oh, I can almost reach behind her. We could go here and we could attack. Oh, that's right. She doesn't break because she's a uh, she's a general. I mean, we could go back and before I used my Astra Storm. Hmm. It's not you know Brave Lance doves. I don't think so. We would have to proc. Sandstorm crits a lot. Yeah, we don't. No chance. That because it's in it's in the um it's in the goop is the problem. It's in the goop. That kind of screws us. Oh, uh, left with one? That's unfortunate. Um, can we get a... Uh, can we get a backup person? Available? No, not there. Alchrist. Um, what about this? We can go here. We can attack. Oh, it's, it's one because of holdout, of course. Stupid holdout. May I? Oh. 
There we go. HP speed, res luck. We'll take it. And then... Oh, just, yeah, all right. I could see a couple other ways of doing this a little more fun, but... We can go here, and we can put her... We don't need her to, like, do damage. We just need her to be set up for, like, bonuses. Backups. I'm proud of you. As you should be. She's got 73 health. Nice. Alright, we'll stay... We'll stay here. And we can do some damage right here, maybe? If we go here to get the bonus. Oh, what if we do an engage? How much was all for one do? Not much. <laughs> Thoron does decent damage, though. I want to see if I can get Ivy to kill. No big differences between damage, it seems. Let's begin. Oh, oh my. Uh, ew. <laughs> Two damage, wow. There we go. But we got that hex. Got that hex. Can do an attack here. Oh, wow. He can actually mostly do damage just because of chain attacks. But we'll take those. We take those for free. Ooh. You know, Luna actually does a little damage. Luna actually helped us out there. Thank you, Luna. Ooh. Jean can also get the kill if we absolutely need him to. But you know what else we could do? We could engage. I just want some XP. The better armor knight? If you say so. I'm just I'm over here dancing for fun and profit and XP. Because she's such a non-threat. Nice. Boosh dancing his way to being a superstar. And check this. We're going to twin strike. Do a little bit of that right now. Do a little bit of that right now. Nice. Good job. And then we can give the kill. Let's see, 14, 13. Give the kill to our boy, Pondreo. Oh, is she going to hold out again? You bitch. Oh, is she going to attack back now? Not from over here. She's a non-threat. My Indian restaurant is doomed. <laughs> <laughs> non-bread is really good. I could go for some non-bread right now. All right, Marnie. You tried your best. But you're done. You're done. You got laser beamed to death. Bad, bad, bad. And just in time, I have to leave in like 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, that Pandreo level, HP, magic, dex, speed, defense, resistance, luck. The freaking, the wizard king. Horse King. MVP is Panette? What? All she did was solo a dragon and 
and a boss all by herself. I don't understand. I tried my Kashmiri naan or something. It was sweet with cherries in it. Ooh. We took the rings. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Money, we must retreat now. I can't go back. Yeah, that's a level to go out on. Someone throw her in the river. I don't know if you guys remember the, if you guys know about the Lonely Island, when they had the song about three, three white douchebags in Japan, and they would just sing about throwing things in the river. And it's just like, throw it in the river. The Pokemon cards, throw them in the river. This old man, throw them in the river. Because we're three white douchebags in Japan. And that's how I how to feel about Marty. Just throw her in the river. And after all your nonsense about being exempt from scolding. <laughs> like yes, now, like they were making fun of Jake Paul years before that happened. Wait, tell me, is Vale all right? Lord Sombron has given Zephia a new kind of magic to use on Lady Vale. I'm gonna need you to she explain does. yourself, so so this. I need I need a godly a, a godly divine explanation for why you like Marnie so much. The true Lady Vale will never awaken again. <sighs> the others think this is a happy outcome, but I, as the I only slightly sane one, you really do want to protect her. Don't the goddess says so. That's not good enough for me. I've recently deconstructed from my faith, so I'm going to need more than, than just uh, God says it's cool. I have said too much. Marnie, I am returning now, with or without you. You can't just leave me. <laughs> hey, wait up! Are you serious? We didn't actually kill them. How many times do I have to kill these guys? I assume because the villains are going to kill them. I have a feeling that Vale is going to need him right at her side. I have to assume they're going to go back and Sombron's like, you failed me for the last time. Emblem Micaiah. Emblem Roy. All right, this is actually pretty sweet. Finally have you back with us. I never lost faith that we would return to you. Thank you. Say it. Say my name. On the shadowy moor and at Flora Fort, it pained me to fight against you. I'm sorry for putting you through that. I promise to never let that happen again. I can't believe there are so many of the corrupted in Illusia. The fell dragon is behind the rise of the corrupted in this kingdom. <laughs> How many times do I need to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Sovereign blood is no longer enough for him. He's abducting the people of Illusia. The common when folk. When Sombron drains them, they turn into the corrupted. That's why they're... Oh, uh, so he's over here just eating everybody. The corrupted we killed were... <sighs> people? Oh my god. Was that a twist? Corrupted leave my kingdom. We must act now. If any of my people still remain, I must do all I can to save them. Those two came all the way here to stop us from reaching Illusia Castle. The four hounds must be desperate to keep us at bay. <laughs> the baying of the hounds. That's a reference. Now we got that wacky nutty staff utility ring that lets you do basically anything you want in Roy. I mean, Roy gets damage. It's and a great. <gasps> this bitch knows about fucking Opeth. Hell yeah. I hear the bang of the hounds. Yeah. Nice to meet another Opeth enjoyer. All right. I'm going to uh, stop here. Uh, because I have to leave here shortly, and I don't know how long that cutscene is going to last. Um, but I love you all very much. Thank you for uh, joining me. Uh, gods and mortals alike, thank you for being here. So good. I agree, Jigerfin. Uh Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. We had a good run there. Uh, I, I was smart a couple of times. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, I will see you guys on Wednesday. I think I think it's Wednesday. I don't think there are any days off coming up just yet. Spring break or summer break will be in two weeks. So I have a couple more times of hopefully unimpeded streaming. We'll see. Uh, but I'll keep you guys I'll keep you guys abreast, if you know what I mean. Uh have a good day. I love you all. Uh I'll see if I can raid somebody real quick. Anybody to raid? Any a boob. <laughs> I'll keep you a boob of it all.
Really? Nobody's streaming? That sounds that that's very strange. Why does it say nobody's streaming? I'll just look up Fire Emblem. <laughs> There's someone playing Engage. Looks like they're pretty early. That sounds fun. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, because Steamy got a job. <laughs>